Seem to be one and the same Mama don't understand it She wants to know where I've been I have to be some kind of natural bone food I want to pass that way again But you know I could feel it On a country road I'm all in pieces, you can have your own choice But I can be a heavenly band full of angels and they're coming to set me free I don't know nothing about the why or when But I can tell you that it's bound to be Cause I could feel it, child, yeah Welcome to the Stacker 2 Free Race Show presented by Stacker 2. And this is NASCAR Country, the uh, country road, a half mile track here in Bristol, Tennessee. Bristol, more than a track, it truly is a treasure. We're about to return to racing's roots for some hard banging, fender bending, side by side action. And as always, the Hollywood Hotel trackside right on top of things, open and ready to welcome you as our favorite guest. Hi, I'm Chris Myers, and welcome to Racing on FX with the Stacker 2 pre-race show and what Wrigley Field is to baseball, Bristol Motor Speedway is to stock car racing. The fans here sit right up on the action, the noise deafening, and the competition on the track cutthroat. This place is laps and laps of fun, and for the driver who had the most fun yesterday, let's go down trackside to Scott Riggs. He's sitting on the pole and standing by with our Matt Yoka. Matt? And Chris, that fast rookie set a new track record, but Scott Riggs... That's one lap. How about 250 today? How do you approach it here? Well, you know, we have to be very patient with the next quick four today. Um, everybody, I know all the guys up there really uh, enjoy the way that we, we get aggressive with the cars and get aggressive at the racetracks. But, you know, you're gonna, it's an aggressive racetrack enough as it is, and uh, we're just going to have to be patient and be smooth and, you know, really miss all the, uh, all the lap cars, and they're going to definitely play a role and a factor in the race and just try to save our equipment and try to be there at the end. The bad news for the competition, he came here and tested for three hours. They never worked on qualifying trim, just race setup. Could be bad news for the competition. Now, to Speedway Illustrated's Dick Bergeron. Dick? Thanks, Matt. Jeff Green won the year 2000 Bush Series Championship. He's won two Bush Series polls here. He's won a Winston Cup poll here. He's finished second four times at Bristol, but he has never won here. He starts second today in a car other drivers say is good enough to win. Every finish this year has been better than the race before. He was third last week. Will today be Jeff Green's first ever Bristol Bush win? He's tried 17 times before, but odds were never better than they are today. To Chris Myers. All right, Dick, one of the storylines we'll be watching with Jeff Hamm in the Hollywood Hotel. We're set right up on the garage area, the activity behind us. One of the all-time great crew chiefs, at least that's what Jeff keeps telling me <laughs> every way we come to. Hey, uh, you know, 18-year-old Brian Vickers is missing his high school prom at Trinity High School in Thomasville, North Carolina, to be here at Bristol in the race today. Uh, you got to be kind of crazy to do something like that, don't you? No, you don't. Why not? Because I did. Really? Yes, I did. <laughs> As a matter of fact, when I was in high school, I had an opportunity to go to the prom or go to Bristol. I came to Bristol. It's the best race on the circuit and I wouldn't have missed it for anything, including my prom. All right. Well, the reward is worth it all. Uh, and what should we look for today as a former crew chief in terms of telling a young driver, especially like a Brian Victor Vickers, when he might have other things on his mind, he's got to have this track on his mind. Boy, you got to take care of your equipment and you've got to have patience. We've already heard from Scotty Riggs. This is what you've got to have to be good at Bristol. You've got to realize this place will jump up and bite you because everything happens so fast. And you see the driver introductions as they're getting ready to go. This is the first of six short tracks in the Bush Series this year. Coming up here live, we'll be talking with Ryan Newman. He'll check into the Hollywood Hotel with Jeff and I, and you'll hear from Stock Car's version of Jillian Barbary. That deserves a while. We're in Bristol, Tennessee. The NASCAR Bush Series rolling forward on FX.
Welcome back to the Stacker 2 pre-race show. Well, welcome back to the Hollywood Hotel here in Bristol, Tennessee. Ryan Newman, a rookie on the Winston Cup Series, uh, currently second in points, joining uh, Jeff Hammond and myself here. And uh, certainly, when you ran here in the Bush Series, you finished in the top ten twice, so you at least had some success on this track. Uh, how different a track is this from what other drivers experience, and what would you recommend for the guys who are running here the first time? It, it's amazing. It's, it's a track that downforce has very little to do with, but you want to do everything you can to keep those fenders on that car the whole race. It's... It, you just want to do everything you can to keep the car in, in good track position. You know that you can you can be a two hundredths of a second slower per lap, and, and it only takes so long to be that much farther back. And you, you got to keep the, the car in good condition, have good track position. But you know, as as a as a Winston Cup driver now, I think back to what I ran in the Bush car. The Winston Cup car has got so much more horsepower, and it's it's kind of hard to deal with. And and that's the biggest difference, right? And for you, the advantages of, of coming from that series into the Winston Cup on a track like that, like yeah, definitely a track here. It's 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 horsepower. You try to get so much power down these straightaways, and obviously you get through the corners as fast as you can. But the quicker you can get down those straightaways, the better you're going to be. Well, Ryan, we got Scotty Riggs on the pole for today's race, and he's a rookie here. What would you tell him? And does he really know what he's getting himself into here at Bristol? <laughs> I, I think he knows, I think he thinks he knows, but you know, there's so many things I can just jump up and bite you, whether it's a wall off turn two or a lapped car or um, you know, a bad pit stop getting you a bad track position. Y you think you know everything and you go out there and you attack the racetrack and you attack the drivers and you, you attack the competition, but no matter what, it seems like there's always one thing that jumps up and, and tries to bite you, but if you can avoid that, you'll have a good day. I want to get more of your thoughts. So Ryan Newman, the all tell Penske Ford, you'll see him of course tomorrow on Fox in the Food City 500. This though, the fifth of 34 Bush races this season. Here's a Look at the championship point standing so far, showing only one point separating second and third place in the battle for the lead. Also, pretty tight. Kenny Wallace, Michael Waltrip, Jason Keller have all won at Bristol before, and Jason is standing by with our Steve Burns. Steve? And Chris, Jason Keller has won here before, but he wants to win that first NASCAR Bush Series championship, and this is a tough place to do it. <laughs> well, uh, you know, I don't know if you can win it here, but you sure can lose it here. But uh, it's a tough racetrack. No matter where you are, first or last, it's going to be tough. But uh, got a real fast Albertsons Ford, and hopefully we can keep that up front and uh, just, uh, you know, keep our nose clean more than anything. And, uh, you know, it's still a long season, but uh, we're off to a good start. Got a lot of great runs on our belt so far, so looking forward to it. Jason, you like to race on concrete. I do. Uh, I used to like it more than more than I do now, but uh, I've had a lot of success here in Dover, and uh, just feel, really feel comfortable. I feel like once you get the car working good, you can keep it there. So uh, just also want to say hi to Joe and Jade back home there watching me, and uh, hopefully I'll do good today. All right, best of luck. Let's go back to Chris Myers. All right, thanks very much. As you see the uh, drivers and their crews getting ready, it is a cool, chilly day, but sunny. We're going to have more from the Ryan Newman here from the Hollywood Hotel. We're getting closer to the start of the Channel Lock 250. You're watching the Stacker 2 pre-race show on FX. A lot more to come as we count down to the start of the race. Stick around. Welcome back to the Stacker 2 pre-race show. Had a great crowd filing in here in Bristol, located in the northeast part of Tennessee. The motto here, racing the way it ought to be. Matt Kenseth, who won this race last year, is not here, but Kevin Harvick is racing in today's Bush event. He won last August. In fact, he's won two of the last three of Bush races here at this track. And green flag racing coming soon here. This is the first of five visits to Tennessee by the Bush series. And who needs... Doppler radar when it comes to weather. We have McReynolds McRadar. You see the weather forecast. We'll tell you about that. And we continue from Bristol, Tennessee on the Stacker 2 pre-race show here on FX. Don't go away. Welcome back to the Stacker 2 pre-race show. And glad to have you with us. Welcome back to the Hollywood Hotel. The cars are not yet racing, but hearts and minds racing ahead to the dropping of the green flag at this legendary track. Let's go. Trackside and our Matt Yoka. Matt? Chris, one driver to watch today is Mr. Excitement, Jimmy Spencer, who starts on the outside of road two in the yellow freight number one car. Spencer has one win here at Bristol, but it was a very special one. He told me this morning to win at Bristol is extra special. Of all the wins that I've had, Bristol is the most important one in my trophy case. He hopes for another one today to Steve. 
Hey, thanks, Matt. Two-time Bush Series champion Randy LaJoy has 17 starts at Bristol, but he's never won. They tested two days here, but crew chief Wally Rogers still not happy with the race car. They threw a lot of changes this morning. Springs, shocks, sway bars, and a gear to see if they can get them going. The Speedway Illustrated is Dick Bergeron. Drivers, crews, fans, even us, everybody loves Bristol. For some, it's the high intensity. For others, the high speed. For still others, it's the high banks. This place is so high, it's almost like stock car racing heaven. To the Hollywood Hotel. All right, thanks a lot. And uh, Jeff, we heard from Jimmy Spencer at the uh, start of that. That's someone along with another guy who runs in the Winston Cup that you'll be watching closely. Yeah, I really like Kenny Wallace here today. I think he's got uh, his team coming together. And Kenny's run well here before. I've worked with him one time before. I know he's settling the pole here. I believe these guys here could be somebody can surprise you today. Just kind of an educated guess. Speaking of education, I love teasing Ryan Newman about his degree, his BS from Purdue in vehicle structural engineering, right? What was your minor? I didn't have a minor. All right, so it was a lot, of, it was a lot about cars. So your whole life is cars. Now, how do you study something like that? It's, it was just a, a backbone for me to, to associate to racing, to associate to be able to being able to communicate. It took a lot of communications classes, as well as mechanical engineering classes, and and the inter interdisciplinary program at Purdue allowed me to do that. So instead of being a mechanical engineering major, I could I could try to focus on some other things that I thought were going to be important for my career, and, then, and that's what college is all about. Yeah, and it certainly uh, has helped. I want you to stick around. I've got a little weather update. Uh, we like to think of our broadcast crew as very versatile. Uh, many of the guys were drivers or crew chiefs before becoming TV stars here on Fox and FX. Larry McReynolds, whose fantasy is to be a weather man or a weather person like Fox uh, Sports' Julian Barbary. Uh, well, today we gave Larry the chance to analyze more than just the race. Yeah, I'm your weather man. Thanks, Chris. Hey, Larry Mack here at the track with this weekend's forecast. Now, I may not be as pretty as Fox's other weather personality, but I'm a different kind of weather man. Now, the forecast for Bristol is snow, lots of snow. What? <laughs> that can't be right. That's Bristol, Connecticut. Y'all been listening to Chris Myers' show. I'm talking about Bristol, Tennessee. You guessed it, Thunder Valley. And what I'm predicting is thunder and lots of it. It's like thunder, lightning. We got a pressure system building right here. High pressure up here, low pressure down here. But here there's no pressure because the front ends are gone. You know what? Aerodynamics don't matter here at Bristol at this short track. And something else to look for after a five-race drought, Hurricane Harvick. He makes his return to the Bush Series. Can the reigning champion reign supreme once again? We'll see. Now, as we check out our two-day forecast, we definitely see there's a storm brewing with thunder, lots of thunder in today's Bush Series race, and it only gets stronger tomorrow with possibly some lightning in that Winston Cup race. Finally, I'm seeing a lot of hot air in the infield, but no need to worry. I think it's contained to that Hollywood hotel. Jeff and Chris, back to you. All right. All right. Okay. All right. I, I don't think... <laughs> He's got a lot of room to talk about. I don't think Willard Scott has anything to worry about. Thunder Valley, of course, appropriately named. Ryan, how much as a driver, how much do you care about the weather, especially as it relates to this track and concrete? Every once in a while, the clouds will come in and, and mess you up a little bit, change the racetrack. But typically, because it's concrete, it doesn't attract a lot of heat. It's not real black. And, you know, because it's so cool, the rubber is what it is. It's, it's not going to get greasy or oily. It's just what it is on the racetrack. And you'll see the second groove start to work in as the Bush guys go side by side. Worth watching. You know, by the way, Larry McReynolds, any anybody who tapes the Weather Channel has uh, has real issues. I guarantee you. Uh, you know, like he said, Bristol is what it is. That's our uh, Stack or Two pre-race show. Ryan Newman will hang in the Hollywood Hotel to watch with us. Let's go racing in Bristol, Tennessee. Stick around.